With the recent Casey Neistat house party controversy, everyone is just probably going to revert back to using the good old Skype for their video chats and video calls for the family or just meetings. If you can't be bothered to get your whole family on Zoom, the latest app, which is going to be a bit tough for the boomers, and most of them are probably working from home and are used to using Skype, or just generally just use Skype anyway. In that case, now's the time to put your ingenuity to test and see how you can make your Skype experience much better. I'm Vansi from SmartDNS Proxy and here are some of the best Skype tips and tricks to have a smoother experience. Let's start with something really simple. Chances are that you're working from home, which can get messy sometimes and it doesn't look really appealing on camera, does it? So maybe you wanna try the blur mode within Skype. So as soon as you get the call, hit the gear icon for audio and video settings you'll see a toggle to blur your background with or without blur. A similar toggle is present when you hover over your video icon. Now there's no slider to increase or decrease the depth of field, but it does use AI to do it dynamically. So if there's something sensitive in the background that you don't want others to see, this is as good as it gets without a DSLR. Now you'd know that your phone camera is much better, miles better even, than your laptop's webcam, or in case of most desktops, no cameras at all. And even buying one from Amazon is rather cumbersome and isn't viable because of the lockdown. Well how about we use your smartphone as your Skype camera? Well, would you look at that? Here's how you do it though. Start by downloading any IP camera app on your phone like the IP webcam, which not only supports 1080p, but also has no watermark. The Android app connects to the desktop app and it sets up as an external webcam. Then you can head over to your Skype and then settings and then audio and video and then select the external camera. Then again, you might have to mount your phone on a holder or just fix it over your laptop with tape. You know, it's going to get worse. So similar to the external camera, you might not have an external mic or even a good pair of earphones. So in that case, you can use your phone as an external mic. Why? Because your phone has a really good noise cancellation compared to your laptop. So a similar one to our previous app, we have an app called WooMic, which lets you use your mobile microphone as an external mic for Skype. Simply download the Android and Windows app and then link them and then change your default microphone in Skype to WooMic. Crisp is an amazing tool that lowers down the ambient noise during Skype calls. Initially, it works really well with static noises, but over time, it learns your voice and adapts accordingly. Like, take a look at this before and after. Hi, this is Vamsi from SmartNewsProxy.com. Hi, this is Vamsi from SmartNewsProxy.com. So it's on Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac apps. For other platforms like Linux and Chromebook, you can just use the Chrome extension. Crisp, as of now, is offering a 14 day free trial with your work email. And after that, you get 120 minutes for a week for free. Now we don't recommend using it always, but use it for important meetings that you're doing from home. Now group chats are those P1 groups are really bothersome. You've got tons of people messaging updates that you not need to be aware of. So you can just right click on the group and enable smart notifications, which only inform you when someone mentions you or quotes you. So get notified about specific keyboards in Skype group chats. Okay, I know this is a native feature, but it comes super handy. So if you're attending an online lecture or let's just say an important webinar, you can go ahead and record the entire screen and it'll be available for everyone who's on the call. Simply click on the plus button on the bottom right corner of the call window and then click start recording. The recording stays for 30 days on the chat for anyone to download, but you can always take it offline and save it as an MP4. Oh, it also works on mobile, just like most tips on this list. Okay, guilty as charged, I used to do this a lot previously. Like I'd redirect my Skype business calls to my Skype personal account. Well, you obviously know there's a way to call forward your Skype calls on your mobile, but it's paid and it would cost you about seven to eight euros a month. But I used to redirect my business call to my personal Skype because I wasn't allowed to log into my phone. This way I can shut my laptop, do my regular errands, 
and then come back and log in as nothing happened. Skype has a new feature today known as Meet Now. With this feature, you can start a new Skype call with anyone without any participation needing to have a Skype app installed or even have a Skype account. Here's how it works. To start the call, visit the Skype Meet page. I'll have a link in the description below and then click on create a new free meeting to invite participants. You can invite them by sending them the link so both parties don't necessarily need to sign in to start a call on the web browser itself. You can text, do voice or video calls, or even share a screen. All you need is a web browser, which is pretty cool. Now this isn't a tip per se, but more like a PSA. So yeah, unless the person actually reveals the Skype ID or location, it's almost impossible to figure out someone's number or location. Now a lot of videos out there claim that they can use the ID to figure out where your net's at or stuff like that. But trust me, it's mostly their ISP or proxy. With all that said, expect this setup for a few more weeks because, you know, with the quarantine and whatnot, because we have to make deal with what we have at home. But in the meantime, do let me know which tip worked for you best in the comment section below. That way I can pen it and others can find it useful as well. Also, check out smartdnsproxy.com to unblock zero-assisted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, you know, Disney Plus, there's a bunch of those. You can do all that for about five bucks a month, which is bugger all, yeah? And you get to keep your laptop safe from prying eyes. That's pretty cool. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit on that bell icon so you get notified every time we put out a new video. See ya.